What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Kevo so the back with another video. Listen guys, this is going to be the aim assist video. A lot of you guys are saying that aim assist isn't working. A lot of you guys are saying aim, aim assist is broken for you, yada yada. So I'm going to show you guys, you know, pretty much step by step, you know, not too in depth, but I'm sure you got some in-game um, gameplay of uh, aim assist and how to go about and what it does and how to set everything up, right? Now, please, for the love of God, guys, pay attention. Now, I'm only showing here the Zen, right? Call of Duty Wars on Optimized Game Pack. Now, I just don't want to bring up the Stripe Pack, but it's the same thing. It's the same as that Game Pack. So, it's pretty much the same settings. So, whether you Team Stripe Pack, Team Zen, whatever, it's the same Game Pack, same settings you will go about, right? Of course, same thing. Rules apply. You got to match the in-game settings. So, all the orange here, button layout, match it with, with the options menu in-game, in your Warzone. So, go to Warzone, go to the options menu, and just read and just make sure everything looks the same. If you got to take a screenshot, picture, whatever have you, just copy and paste everything, okay? These are my settings. So, of course, I play 6-6 six, six sensitivity. 5 is the minimum right right stick dead zone right here. Here's the max. So, 1 and then 5 for mid. All right? Boom, 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 boom. Skipping all this because I'm on PS5. I don't mess with Xbox. So, so, for all those of you who have an elite controller, this is for you to experiment and go through with stuff like that. I don't know. I may... Be getting an Xbox. I don't know. I don't know yet. Um, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Maybe by Christmas. We'll, we'll, sh we'll shall see. We shall see. All right. Right here. Global Mars. This is for like Slide Cancel. So um, I've been rocking just BR and SC. That stands for Block, Rumble, and Slide Cancel. Okay. Boom. These are honestly the only two I need. Unless I'm sniping, then I will put like Auto Hold Breath and stuff like that. But guys, do be advised if you have Auto Hold Breath. The six times or three to six times you're going to have an issue. It's going to keep zooming in and out every time you ADS, right? So you're going to want to, you know, switch between them. So if you're sniping, then rock this. If not, then just avoid it. Just put like block, rubble, side cancel, or whatever, right? But this video ain't about that, any of that. It's about aim assist. So I want to focus on aim assist. No web profiles, no values, no anything. Obviously, I'm going to be using a gun to show you guys. I'm going to use a sniper as well to test the aim assist. I'm going to use an AR. And an SMG, I'm also going to use a gun with no sight as well. To show you guys, the aim assist works all around, right? It, it's pretty much the same thing all around, right? Now, here, active aim mod. You want this to be on aim assist, okay? Leave this just like this on aim assist. Your active aim mod. And start off at 15. Don't go any less, any higher, unless you know what you're doing. And unless you can manage stronger, faster, a weirder screen shake because the higher you go 16 17 18, blah, blah, blah the higher you go up the more screen shake you're going to get so 15 is standard default customize says just leave that 15 that's pretty much like the best um majority of people run is 15 so leave that 15 right i know i sometimes i do raise it i play at 17 sometimes i used to play at a 20 but 20 has gotten a little so there's been a few changes so yeah so 20 is a lot strong with this game pack a little too much so i tend to like leave it on 15 sometimes like i said i'll go to 17 depending but pretty much, you don't get any more stronger aim assist. Maybe a tad bit, but it's not going to be nothing like an aim bot and stuff like that. And if you max it out, it, horrible. I'm, I'm going to show you what it looks like in game. Don't worry. But bringing up this number is honestly not going to make the aim assist any, any that much stronger. I'll be completely honest with you guys. Anybody else that tells you otherwise, they're lying. Okay. Now, right here, active shot mod. You can also have this aim assist as well. All right, I'm explaining that in game also a bit. But I don't run this at all because I find this to mess me up more times than it actually does me justice, right? Then, then, then it's benefit. Now, 2v1 situation, 3v1 situation, it always messes me up because what this does, having this like this aim assist, you're also getting this 15. You're also getting the sticky aim that you get with this when you ADS. It happens when you're firing as well. So it, it's it's annoying. It's annoying. And you can have it like any fire, ADS fire, blah, blah, blah. I don't want it firing at all. I don't want it at all happening while I'm firing because it's just going to pull towards like what whatever enemy is in front of you and if you have two plus or whatever it's good trust me it's going to work against you it's going to be pulling 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 you're trying to you know, aim as you know, as someone and it's just is working against you especially at a distance at a distance horrible chop it's going to be real bad trying to beam somebody at a distance with um having um aim assist on fire it's, it's really bad so me personally honestly i just i stay clear i just i just leave it I, I either leave it on disabled or ping shot. But the best, honestly, is ping shot. It's going to just automatically ping while you're firing. All right. Sometimes it can be annoying, but it helps you out. It definitely does help you out. All right. And anti recall mode off enemy, of course, manual. And that's it. My first part of right here is Cooper Carbine, but I'm not exposing the values. That's for my next video. So you guys got to wait for that. 
But yeah, there you have it. Just set it up like this. This is going to be a quick, simple video just demonstrating and explaining aim assist, all right? Now, let's, uh, let's hop into a game to show you guys with the help of uh, my boy, my boy Snow. All right, guys, so hey, I'm in the game with uh, my boy Snow right there. He's on his uh, main account, Depression. You guys should already know who he is, the homie. All right, now, let me, let me just show you the settings. So, you saw it in the beginning, but let me just skip through all this. I don't want to, you know, spoil anything. So, I'm going to go to Active Aim Mod. You see Aim Assist, all right? I'm going to press X on it. Press R1, R1, go to Intensity, 15, all right? The number I tell all you guys to start at 15, right? I already showed you in the options menu in game what must be enabled and, and have set, copy and everything. Make sure vibration is, is enabled in game. Shot mod is also disabled here, right? Because I don't want aim assist while I'm shooting. I'll show you that in a minute right after this. Um, but I'm going to show you what I normally really play at, okay? Now, you can see the distance, right? Um, I'll end up going even further than this, but I'm going to just ADS on him, right? I got the Cooper, right? Let me show you. By the way, this is the Cooper car I set up that I have a video coming out soon for, so don't worry. All meta, all right? Now, just check it. Now, look, I'm just ADSing, and look, see, it's still following him. I don't know why a lot of you guys say that James is broken, it's not working. I have it on ADS, right, with all my settings. Now, as you can see, you can even go, like, farther. Like, keep going, like, far left and far back and far right. See that? It's still it's still following him, no matter where he's at. See how far he is, and it's still tracking, it's still following now, if he goes, like, obviously behind a building or behind a truck or something like that, it's going to be cut off. So, go ahead. Try to go behind that truck or something. As you're going to see, the aim assist is going to be cut off. Obviously, why? Because he's not in view anymore. See, but once he's in view, look at that. He's jumping, popping his head out. And the aim assist is like, you see that? How it's pulling? Look, see? Even if he pops his head out, look, it's still, you see, it's still pulling a little bit. So, as long as he's in view, it's going to pull. All right, come back. Now, I'm going to show you guys look, again. I'm not moving the right stick. It's still following him. You guys see that? The aim assist how it works. All right. Now, obviously, the farther you go back, it's still going to be pulling, but he has to be in view, obviously, right? And it, it's also going to work with, you know, an SMG, even at this distance, as you can see. Look at that. See how strong and powerful this is? Look at him. And he has a speed build, by the way. He has, like, oh, what, you, what you got? What you running? Oh, speed. No stock, tape. Yep, look at that. So, that's the speed build he's running. He's still, I mean, like I said, he has to be... The enemy, the target has to be in frame. It has to be literally in front of you, right? You got to be looking at him. See the crosshair has to be right there. That old dot has to be on him. Double See that? Time. So after a while, it, you know, if he gets like out of view, it's going to be cut off. And also, like I said, it will get cut off if he's behind a truck, if he's behind a building, wall, or whatever. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it will still track him behind the doors. It, it, it all depends. It all depends how thick paws, I guess, <laughs> you know, oh. it, it, it all depends what he's behind. But as you can see that, it's still tracking him. And this is 15, all right? Now I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to swap back. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into the settings. And by the way, this is the Zen. is is also the same thing on the strike pack because it's the same game pack. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to aim assist. And I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to max this out, all right? I'm going to show you guys. There's no difference. And I'm not going to. Actually, yeah, I'll max it out crazy. I'm going to show you what happens. And I'm going to show you that there's no difference with the aim assist, all right? Because a lot of you guys are like, oh, well, if you max it out, it's going to turn to aimbot. No. Let me show you what happens. All right? Let me, let me aim, aim him real quick. Now, go ahead. You see that? Go. Run around. You see? It's absolutely no difference. But what do you, what do you get is very strong shaking. You see how the screen is shaking like crazy? It's, sh <laughs> it's shaking a lot. It's doing like a very big circle very fast. But how are you going to play like this? How can you play like this? I mean, obviously, if he's standing still, like if he's standing, you'll be able to kill him. But with ADS sticky aim, it's only like this when I'm ADSing. Because when you shoot, it's off. So check it out. You see how it stopped? But then as soon as I let go of the R2, it starts to um, like move again like that. That's the aim. That's because I have it maxed. Don't ever play at maxed. All right? Don't. To be completely honest, don't. All right? So let's bring that back down. All right? Let's bring it back down from 50 back to 15. All right? Where we had it. Okay? Boom. Now I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to leave it like that, name assist, and I'm going to go to shot mod, and I'm also turn on aim assist here as well. So going down to aim assist, and if you press X on this and R1, you can see that it also shares the same exact aim assist as ADS. You see that? So it's one aim assist all around. Let's leave it at 15. And you may not be able to tell, uh, let me get a little closer like that, you'll be able to tell. You may not be able to tell, but you also, you see that? You still get the little, you know, little small shaking with 15, not so much. You still get the, the aim assist, so go left and right. You can see you still get it, right, when you're ADS. But also, now you get it a tad bit when you're firing as well. So you can't really tell. You might not be able to see it on screen, but in gunfights and stuff like that while you're actually in-game playing the game, you'll be able to tell 
you'll be able to tell like the difference. You, you'll feel it like more pulling while you're firing your weapon. Now, I found that very kind of disturbing, not disturbing, <laughs> but like it, it messes me up in gunfights, especially 2v1 situations, 3v1 situations. I do not run that. I'd rather just run the regular ADS sticky aim. It's good enough for me. See that? It's pretty strong. You know, obviously up close, it's going to cut off a lot faster because they, you know, if the person is running and they're sweat, they're going to be out of your view. Rather, if you're, you know, farther away, they're going to be more in your view. Yeah, go left, right. You see, they're going to be, you know, a lot longer. You see, the pull is a lot more stronger because you're farther back. All right. So that's how the whole aim assist works. So you guys got to set it up right, correctly, in order to game assist working for you guys. Now, like, if I shoot right next to him, you're going to see that it's going to pull close to him. So hold on, don't move. I want to show something. So if I shoot right beside him and move the right stick a little bit, you guys are going to be able to feel it. You guys are going to be able to feel the aim assist pulling and tugging towards towards the target if they're in frame. Like you're gonna you're gonna feel it. Sometimes it may go against you. See how it just it went straight up to his head. I wasn't even aiming at his head. But yeah, sometimes you're gonna feel like it, it works against you. Right? But at at times it may work for you, but at times it, it may not. So I just wanna let you guys know that me and also I haven't had that much like experience with it because the experiences I had it's it's completely off. It's it's completely different than than what I experienced and how I play, you know, my performance just with the regular ADS. All right, see, this is the regular ADS, how it's pulling like that. See, far away. And then if you're shooting and you're, like, aiming towards him, it's, it's going to be a little more. See, it's going to be a little more sticky. It's going to pull towards him a little more. But I don't know. Like I, like I said, it's, it's, it's tricky. All right, now I'm also going to show you guys that it works with snipers as well. My boy just dropped me this uh, Car 98 right here. Boom. Oh. Who's shooting? My boy. On the right. <laughs> don't you see we doing something here? Come on, sir, please. I didn't even see him. I cracked him, though. He killed you? Yeah. Damn. Even with snipers, you still get the emesis. So check this out. I'm ADSing right on him. Yeah, you can move. Now, as you can see, it's still pulling. Look at that. See that? It, it, I mean, it's not as strong as like an AR, like the emesis you get with AR, SMG, and stuff like that. But granted, it's, it's the same. You still get the emesis. And obviously, when you shoot, see, it's, it's, it's going to stop because I have it. On um, how I missed both times. Anyway, it's gonna it's gonna stop because I have uh, ADS. <laughs> I have a uh, aim assist only to kick in um while I'm ADSing. So now while I'm shooting, as you can see, it's still following him. Right now, do you, do you have a gun with iron sight or no? All right, fly back in for the last time. I got the Marco, as you would normally set it up, just with iron sight, just with you know no optic. So. Which I find to be ugly. I, I don't like. I don't like. I don't like the iron sight on the on the Marco. <laughs> now you're gonna see. <laughs> now you're gonna see. It also uh, works the same. Go ahead, go. See that? It's still pulling, all around. Still same thing. Same old, same old. So nothing's really changed. Like I said, obviously you can see the cutoff point. So once he passes pretty much the barrel or like you know, the size of the gun when you're ADSing. You can see that's that's the cutoff point, All right? There you go, and it's e even gonna work like far away. You can see I got iron sight, so I'm gonna come up here to the top of the, to the top of this uh, house right here. Where's it? Just the window. Come right here. All right, I'm ADS on him, and look, yeah, go. What are you throwing? Like? <laughs> As you can see, it's still following. So yeah, no matter what, swap ADS is still following. And like I said, don't increase it from 15. Um, I like to play sometimes at a 17. I used to do a 20, but 20, you know, ended up being a little too much. So I go to like 17, right? Depending if you're on PC, you might have to run a different, you know, value depending on like your tolerance, depending how much you could tolerate the screen shake pretty much. Right. But it's up to you because, you know, increasing it doesn't mean it's going to be stronger, like a strong aim assist or like an aim by any of that stuff. That's not the case. Right. That is not true. That I can say is, is not true at all whatsoever. Right. But, uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what the right. fuck are you probably hanging on that fucking truck? What the fuck? <laughs> Your head glitched it. What the? Oh. Let, let, me know, let, let me know if you guys have any further questions in the comment section down below on aim assist. Um, if you want me to cover anything else, uh, this is what I could think of. Aim assist still works. It's still as strong as it was ever. And, uh, yeah, it's still the same. Guys, you just got to match all your, you know, match all your settings. Make sure vibration is enabled. All right, so, all right, well, let me just show you guys. Boom, see? Boom, 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 all my settings. 
Boom. My version is enabled. See, my settings never change. These are all my settings. I show everything. See? Never changes. Everything remains the same. All right? So, there you go. You got all my settings. I taught you guys how to set everything up. Aim assist is it's still aim assist. It's still the same thing. Nothing's wrong with it. Nothing at all is wrong with it. The only difference is the aim assist when you ADS and on fire. I don't mess with on fire. That's not really my thing. Like I said, it, it messes me up a lot. So I just I, I stay away from it. I stay away from it. If you want to explore, test out, you know, on fire aim assist, find out what's new, you know, what works or what doesn't work. Go ahead, feel free. Like I said, it's not for me. Alright. And as always, till next time. Oh, snow, kill him. Capo, what was it? Capo what? Capo Twiller?